Okay, so part two, apologize, I had to take a phone call there. Um, we're here in the bedroom again. This, all the bedrooms also have a walk-in closet. You can see they have a full-size mirror here on the door. And they do have built-ins in the closet itself. And these... Nice heavy-duty doors too, solid wood. And you can see in here, again, you've got, there's no ceiling fan, but there is recessed lighting. So coming into the bedroom, or sorry, bathroom, single vanity on the left, full tub shower combo, and then the toilet. Um, this is some kind of textured wall. Um, I don't know what exactly it is. It might be a wallpaper actually, like almost a, uh, like an, Feels like asphalt, almost. It's very interesting. Oops, I'm sorry, drop my papers here. So coming out of the bedroom, you have the other bedroom. So they're adjacent to each other and identical layout, to be honest. This one also has built-ins on the inside of the closet, the walk-in. And then also another ensuite. Same texture on the walls, same type of vanity, tub shower combo, and toilet. So coming out from those bedrooms, down the hall here, you have one standalone bathroom. Shower and everything there. Toilet. You can see it's a nice large sized vanity. Now this is the master suite. It's quite large. You'll see as we go through. Coming into there, it has a cheetah print carpet. So off to the left when you come in is the master closet, which I will take you in to. The master bathroom, which has a steam shower, then a standalone tub, jetted tub, and then your vanities with a sitting area. So lots of countertop space, tons of mirrors all around, recessed lighting underneath that part there and then you'll have additional lighting up top in the bathroom area you have the toilet and the bidet and it's pretty large and spacious in here and then you have additional linen space right here for sheets and towels and whatnot it's quite deep Now you have the walk-in closet. There's a single walk-in closet. And I'm gonna just keep dropping my papers here. Single walk-in closet, but it is fairly large. So you've got to the left and then to the right. So banks of drawers here in the front. And then down the middle, you have mirrors. So you can easily see you know, what you look like in front and behind. Lots of stu shoe storage here on both sides. And then in the middle as well with some additional racks for belts, ties, anything you might need there. Plantation shows again. This one has uh, track lighting instead of recess lighting in the middle. And then it looks like on the sides too. And then you can see on the sides, you have more shelving cabinets, rods, enough space here to pretty much uh, keep all your clothes. Another bank of drawers here. Another, this looks like a pull-out thing. So you can pull these out 
and hang up your belts, your ties, anything like that. Glass doors. And you can see tons of space. Take you to the other side. It's going to be fairly similar with a couple changes. The big one being there's a large space there for a safe. But again, similar layout when it comes to the bank of drawers. This one with the pullouts. And more room. And it kind of tucks around in the corner here and gives you just a little bit extra space. But it's nice. So, huge closet. This is, again, more pullouts. This, they're using these for their ties. They have the tie things on them. And then a laundry hamper right here. Same thing over here, I believe. This is probably another laundry hamper. Yes, it is. So each side has their own basket for dirty clothes. So let me take you into the master suite itself. Again, lots of recessed lighting, but plenty of windows as well. You have the gas fireplace. Good size sitting area. You can really get a feel for it. They've got two love seats here with a coffee table and then the built-ins over there. You even have a little sink over here for, you know, convenience for morning coffee or whatever you want to use it for. So panning around, you'll see all the windows with their shutters. And then the space that you have for the bed, you can fit any size bed here that you could think of. And again, you've got some kind of I'm not certain this is wall. This might be wallpaper or some kind of different texture. Um, not certain what that is. And then you've got two double door um, accesses to the outside, to the pool area, which we will definitely see in a bit. All right, taking you over to the other wing of the house. So again, back to the entryway here, you got the double door entryway, first living area, and then off to the right is gonna be the wet bar and the dining area. You can see they have a 10 person table here for the dining area. Again, lots of recess lighting up top. Nice gloss black um, surround around it with an entrance over there to the kitchen and the family room. So the wet bar right here, you can see is fully equipped with a sink, double basin sink here, lots of cabinets. Uppers and lowers, and then a fridge, which can easily be replaced to be a wine fridge or something like that. And then off to the right more, you have access to the garage. This is a three car garage, a little step down there into the garage. I almost fell. <laughs> um, some built in shelving there, a little workspace, and then a lot more built in cabinets for plenty of storage. and more shelving over there with an entrance to the side yard. So coming in from the garage, right off to the right, you have the laundry area and then an additional uh, small bedroom. So the laundry area here has a utility sink uppers and lower cabinets, plenty of space in here. I believe this is 
maybe a fold down cutting board. Yep. So a space for that. And then you have the small, this is the smallest bedroom out of all of them. Doesn't have an ensuite. So, I mean, I would just use it. I'm sorry, it does have an ensuite. Apologize. And then again, you've got more storage right here for linens. So again, coming from the front area off to the right, heading towards the kitchen and living area, you've got a half bath right here, pedestal sink, toilet, lots of recessed lighting, And then coming into the kitchen, lots of cabinets throughout here, like a triple basin sink, granite countertops, gas cooktop here in the middle island. So the appliances are going to be Viking for the cooktop, Sub-Zero for the refrigerator and freezer, and then it looks like you've got GE for the dishwasher and trash compactor right there and then you've got a wine fridge down here and decor for the ovens double built-in oven there you have what appears to be a built-in oven or built-in toaster possibly um, i'll have to check with diane the listing agent to see what this is uh, but it looks like a toaster. I don't know if it's functional or not, but it's very interesting. Something to um, find out more about. You do have a walk-in pantry. It's not the biggest pantry, but it is a decent size. Plenty of room in here for all you would need. And there is a light in here too. There we go. And you can see you've got more cabinets down here with pull-out shelves. So this is convenient to have the pull-out for your pots and pans. And then you've got a breakfast nook over here. Six person round table with lots of windows to really enjoy the outdoors in the mornings. You know, there's no blinds on these windows. Um, and I think it's better that way, to be honest, just because blinds would really obstruct, you know, plantation shutters, of course, would obstruct a lot of the beauty that you'd be seeing. So they really maximized the views out here. And then into the other living area. So this one's quite large as well. You can see they've got a couch and two love seats, or a sofa, sorry, and two love seats with a fairly large coffee table there, gas fireplace, built ins for the media center, and shelving over there. And again, recessed lighting throughout. So one thing this house has plenty of is lighting. So I'm gonna take you to the outside now. So coming in, coming out from the family room over there, you can see you've got a lot of covered patio space. So plenty of areas to sit down, you know, no matter where the sun is, if you want some shade, you're gonna be able to find it. Wraps all the way around. Lots of nice mature planting over there. Desert landscape planting for the most part. I don't see any real grass that's turf over there in the corner. 
So when you come out from the kitchen family room area of that double door exit, you're gonna have the built-in uh, grill over here. No sink, um, but it does have the built-in there. A lot of counter space here. Then you've got your turf area. Turf looks a little dated. That's easy enough to replace. Nice spot to make this into a putting green or whatever. I know you want to see the pool area, but I'm just going to take you to the side real quick. So you can see lots of side yard down there would be the garage entrance to the side yard. You're a little bit elevated from your neighbors on the right. So just a little bit higher than them over there. Then you've got the iron fencing there leading to the end of the course. I'm not sure which hole we're on right now. But you can see it's just a beautiful view. And taking you over to the pool. Nice rectangular pool. This is plenty long enough to do laps. And a hot tub over here. Fit about four, maybe five people comfortably in there. Nice that it has a little controls on the side over there. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of bright out right now, but controls for the hot tub down there. And then this leads over to the koi pond, which is very interesting. So this would be nice and neat, you know, to relax in the morning with the koi. I think there's like 25 koi in there. Nice little bubbler in the middle. Decks on both sides, so you can access either end. Taking you around. So this would be the master bedroom over here, right? So there's those two double door entry ways to the master bedroom. And then the other side of the koi pond. All your pool pump equipment is going to be over there. And it is a two-story home next to you, but the way it's situated, um, there's really no angles for them to see in from their house because they're so far to the side and this house comes further back. So you're going to have a lot of privacy and then you've got these trees here. But between that, I mean, it's really nothing, no sight lines into your yard besides, of course, the people across the way. And then we have got another side yard over here. This will be all the pool, pool equipment. And then I'm just going to lean over. You can see quite a long side yard there too. All right, I'm gonna give you a couple more views of the backyard here because I know that's pretty important. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is a misting system along the edges up there too and then you've got more recessed lighting. I could be wrong, I'll verify, but nice to have a little bit of mist coming down when it's in the middle of summer. All right. So I'm gonna pause it and then I'll restart it again when I get to the front yard. All right, so I'm back out front. This is the front view of the door. Double door entry there, of course. Nice tall entryway leading in. And then three car garage, paver stones for the driveway. Flanked on both sides by some really mature palm trees and cacti. So we're at the end of the cul-de-sac here. So you've got the cul-de-sac, you've got one more house at the end 
And then I don't remember if you remember me telling you, but the Sultan of Brunei has a compound here. That's actually it, um, past the house over there. So that's the compound, their compound. <clears throat> so you can see more single story homes over there. Now we're out front, right across the way um, is the road over there. So right now there's not a whole lot of traffic, so you can't really hear too much. There's a car right there. So the whole time I was in there, could not hear any traffic. And even in the back, I couldn't hear any traffic, but you know, you've got the, the pool going and everything to give you that, that ambient noise. So it just really helps out a lot with the noise and keeps it peaceful for sure. Nice flat driveway for the most part. It's got some slope to it, of course, but it's not a super steep driveway or anything. And plenty of space in front of the house for guest parking or whatever. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, couple things. So, oops, sorry, there we go. It is, um, they are the second owners of the house. They have not done any upgrades or any updates. It was pretty much their second house um, the whole time they've been living here. So with that being said, you know, all the appliances, um, furniture, carpeting, flooring, everything, everything is the way it was in 2013, I think is when they bought it. So there's going to be some updates that need to be done in the house, uh, certainly. Uh, I think those Sub-Zero fridges, as great as they are in the last decades and decades, uh, I open them up and it looks like, you know, they're working, uh, but they could definitely be updated, um, as well as the other appliances throughout there. Uh, flooring, of course, you know, carpeting throughout the area, something to consider. You know, I'm sure you'll want to replace most of that, uh, if not all of it. And then that center room that has a step down that's something that you know the house would feel a heck of a lot better if that was raised up and it's just the one area uh, but you know I, I wouldn't know the cost of doing something like that a project like that um, the last house in here I sold actually uh, they um, they raised the floor when they did the renovations um, but I don't know how much they paid for that but it's just one of those things you know that people do out here in these homes that are a little bit older but when they renovate them, they, they turn out really nicely. Uh, I think you're in a great part of the neighborhood. You know, this is a gated community within the guard gated community. Um, so you've got that extra peace of mind, extra privacy and security. Uh, you're on the, you know, the southwest corner of, of Spanish Trail here. So you're a little bit further from the country club, but I mean, it's not like you're that far and you're still within the community. Uh, you can hear some more traffic right now. You can probably hear some of that. You know, it's the middle of the day right now, so it's probably about as heavy as it's gonna get. It's not a main road back here, but you're gonna have traffic regularly. Other than that though, I think it's a fabulous house. Uh, if it was renovated, it would be selling for a whole heck of a lot more, and they probably wouldn't even need to do an open house. Uh, beyond that though, I think it's got a lot of potential. It probably hits most of the check marks that you're looking for. You know, the wet bar, the built-in barbecue, you know, separated living area from the kitchen, single story, a good size with a pool backing up to a golf course in a great community. Um, so something to think about for sure. Uh, if you have any other questions or anything else, let me know. I will definitely reach out to the agent, uh, Diane. She's a great listing agent. I spoke to her in there. She's uh, said they have an offer right now, but it's in the low twos. So she's pretty uh, transparent when it comes to that. I don't know if the sellers are going to end up taking it. They're looking for uh, two five, I think it was. So sorry, I'm trying to switch hands here. Um, yeah, other than that, I think it's a fabulous home. I think it would it would uh, after some updates, it would be a great home for both of you. So let me know. All right, thanks.